The celebrating Newmarket Maiden Stakes is the second of the Maidens for this week, and it's another long distance one, even longer this time. It's two miles one foot on the top one. is charming humour for David Hooley, going under for Padraig Horgan, Heshan Luda, or Vinnie Gerard, Joe DiMaggio, Ryan Tamasevi, Repeater McGonagall for James Shea, Bad Habits for Martin Leadham, Eat Well Rosie for Padraig Hogan, Gold Match and Arrival for Satyam, Pardon Borrow for Thomas Rogers, Red Ruth Sky for Craig Allen, Spartic Philly, Graham Clutterbuck, Star Party Raw, James Shea, Baron Castleford, Jim Murray, Splashing Craig Beckwith, Tour de France, Paul Rhodes and Baroness Richmond, Jim Murray, so a nice mix of old and new, they're all installed and away they go. Pretty close to the Cambridgeshire trip, this isn't it? So it's uh, not the Cambridgeshire trip, it's a Zarowitz trip. Getting my races mixed up, so maybe one or two of those will be heading that way come the end of the season. But it's Eatwell Rose, or Eastwell Rose, should I say, is the early leader then from Tour de France in second, and then Baroness Richmond is in third, and the leader has gone over to this rail, which will help it along and it's Eastwell Rosie who is clear by about four lengths to Tour de France in second, Baroness Richmond is third and then comes Red Ruth Sky, Baron Castleford is close up as well so Jim Murray's gone on to his Baronesses and his Barons for this part of the season then Bad Habits is after that one, Splashing and Hash and Luda are next then Going Under and Gold Match and Arrival who are running in similar colours but I think from different stables but it's Eastwell Rosie who is clear in the lead by about four lengths to Red Ruth Sky in second and then a line of four together there, the two Jim Murray, horses Baron Castleford and Baroness Richmond splashing and also uh, is it Tour de, Tour de France I think as well, behind them uh, Bad Habits in the purple and white stripes with following that one, the all purple of charming humour, the grey I think is gold match and, so gold match and arrival I think and um, towards the back Spartic Philly looks like just about to be the back marker so they take this one turn then and they've got a mile and a quarter to go and we're playing jockey cam again now and we're on the back of gold match and arrival for Satyam I think that is and he's making his way through the field at the moment you can see he's just tucked in behind charming humour there now we've gone on to going under and now we've gone on to Baron Castleford who we can see is chasing the leader but we're back to a normal shot again now then and Eastwell Rosie is the leader by four to in second place now Baron Castleford then Tour de France Red Ruth Skies after that one then Splashing then Bad Habits on the inside of Baroness Richmond with on the outside of that one Charming Humour then just tucked in between them Repeater McGonigal's trying to get into it as well with Joe DiMaggio and Going Under next Gold Matchen Arrival and Hessian Luda are next the three at the back of Spartic Philly Star Party Raw and Pardon Burrow but Eastwell Rosie been in the lead all the way so far, passing the seven furlong pole in with a lead of two lengths as we get a worm's eye view of them. Red Ruth Sky is in second, Baron Castleford is third, then looks like Tour de France on this near side might be third. Trying to get into it there, the you can just see the back of the purple jacket of charming humour behind that Jim Murray horse as well. And also wide on the track there, you can see splashing his negative into it as we get a higher view of them. And it's Eastwell, Eastwell Rosie in the lead by three quarters of a length through Red Ruth Sky in second, splashing his third, Tour de France is four, then Baron Castleford and charming humour repeats and McGonagall he's after that one bad habits has dropped right out of it but it's still Eastwell Rosie in front but the one that's trying to get through on the inside is Tour de France and he's got nowhere to go the big wide open spaces of Newmarket and he can't get a run and it's Eastwell Rosie still in the lead from Tour de France Joe DiMaggio Red Roof Sky and Joe DiMaggio is now bursting through up the centre of the track is Joe DiMaggio trying to hit a home run it's Joe DiMaggio that's come through now to take it up it's Joe DiMaggio from Eastwell Rosie and Joe DiMaggio is in front of still low two and a half furlongs to go and it's Joe DiMaggio in the lead by about two lengths. Eastwell Rosie now looks as though she's starting to tread water. Gold match and arrival is starting to run on the outside. Also coming through Red Roof Sky. Charming humour is there as well. Joe DiMaggio's in front. Still a furlong to go. And Joe DiMaggio is in front but being chased hard by Charming Humour. Going under his coming into it as well. Gold match and survival. Red Roof Sky on the near side. Joe DiMaggio needs the post. Joe DiMaggio's in front. Red Roof Sky. Charming humour. Spartic fully flashing at the post. But it's Joe DiMaggio's just got a hold on. I mean, Joe DiMaggio takes it from Spartic Philly. Run a big race in second. Red Ruth Sky was up there as well. And Joe DiMaggio hit that home run a bit too soon, I think. And they're waiting for the ninth innings. He hit it in the sixth, and it nearly didn't work. And they nearly caught him, but he hung on to take it. And Joe DiMaggio is the winner for Ryan Tamasebi, Red Ruth Sky for Craig Allen was second, Spartic Fully a 
good debut for Graham Clutterbuck in third. Charming humour for David Hooley was fourth. And Hesha and Luda for Vinnie Gerard was closest at the finish in fifth.